building. Welcome back. Guess what we're playing today? Uh, I think they already saw the title screen. Oh, fine. Register your name. I hear that helps. Yeah, today we're playing the original Legend of Zelda, and technically we're doing it uh for the um GameCube. <laughs> yeah, the GameCube version. The the fancy ass re fans. Oh, I give up. <laughs> Fancy. The re-release that they did yes. when Wind Waker came out and they did a special promotion for it. So this this disc technically has the first Legend of Zelda, um, the second one, and Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Yeah. And a bunch of, like, promo stuff for Wind Waker. Yeah. And it also has Master Quest, which you can play without having to beat Ocarina of Time for, so I am totally making you play that at I some point. I thought Master Quest was a different one. I thought we figured no. that out already. No. It's it said it right on the the thing. Oh, okay, fine, yeah. fine. Yeah, and the really super weird thing is, I really want to play through just about all the Legend of Zelda games. Yeah, and I think we have most of them. I think we're missing like two. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. We don't have the Oracle games for the GBA, or do we? Um, oh wait, I think I have one of them. Can't remember. Uh, I think it was um, a free download. I, I have it remember. on my three DS. Not that that matters. I can't like we don't have the stuff to hook up the three DS. So yeah, eventually. Um, we don't have a CDI crap. Oh Obviously. god, we never will. Because that's insane. <laughs> um, but you know, the good ones. I don't have... What one did I buy recently? Uh... Minish Cap or... Minish... Did you buy Minish Cap? I didn't know that. I bought one of the uh, portable ones. Oh! That I didn't have. Yes! Uh, was I... The, was it Spare Tracks? No, you don't no. have... You don't have uh, Legend of Choo Choo. Um, it must have been Minish Cap or something. What was the other one? Oh, jeez! Uh, the other one was, um... I should be naming... This. I want to say Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass! That's the one that I got. It's okay. Minus Cap that I don't have. Right, okay. I, and when I wanted to say Phantom Hourglass, I also wanted to say Phantom Tollbooth, and that's not a Zelda game. <laughs> that is no. a weird lo a weird novel. <laughs> um, should I... What name? Oh, oh, I don't know. Um... Probably not a lot of letters. <laughs> no. Well, you could fit your default name in there before. Got to think of something, because we've been on this for like t yeah, I know. I kept, I kept trying to draw your attention to it like three times. Yeah, sorry. Like, no. Um, do we want to name something funny or I don't just? Know. That's a horrible sound. Link. Yeah. Or or Link with a Y, L Y N K. -E. Why? Because he's fancy. I don't know. Just cooler than everyone else. Yeah. Okay, fine. L Y N K E. Emo hipster Link. Yeah, I guess. Totally. Um. Anyway, we have a whack of them. We, uh. Yeah. We have. Will you let me. Your start button? I pressed it already. Oh. Well, it has. It, it, wasn't this the start button? Like one of them? Nope. Nope. Oops. Um, it's it's got a screwy control set up because it's taking old controls and making them applicable to the. Oh god, why? Why? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought one of the trigger buttons, or like one of the... Yeah, that was, was the, the game menu. Button. This one... Okay, there we go. Can I end now? Uh, no, you just went down to a new dude. What the hell? <laughs> oh, what the absolute fuck? Okay, what? Uh, okay, uh, let's pause this till we figure it out. Yeah, what the okay, pause. ever loving... We figured it out. We Which... figured out what button to press. We're a little weird, yeah. It's just... <laughs> It's a really weird setup because of the way they did stuff. Okay. Sure. Blank. Sure. Yes. <coughs> I'm so used to pressing A oh, to do anything, right. and I have to press start to do everything. I love how this game just throws you into it. Like, yeah, no, no plot, no context. You're just a dude in a field. And you're like, what? What? What is happening? And this is why manuals were good. Well, yeah, it says in the the <laughs> scrolling stuff that's all like going up. This is all your items. Consult the manual for further instructions. Yeah, basically. Oh, that one line. Yes, yes indeed. Yeah. It's not at all what the song led me to believe. No, thank <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Original Legend of Zelda in all its... What direction do I go uh, in? Up. Anyway. Yeah, I want... I actually haven't played this one much. Um, Most of my familiarity is actually with like, where I first started playing it myself was Link to the Past. Right. Um. I'm having a real hard time turning around there. <laughs> um. 
I don't remember this one very well. I don't. My brother must have played it, but mm. the second one, I remember watching my brother play it when I was a kid, and it is like the first thing I remember of Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah. Oh man, the controls are so weird. Would, I was gonna say, would it be easier to use the D-pad instead of the analog stick? Probably, but, but your your hand doesn't sit there well. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. So it's really hard to adjust to. And and, and for anyone oh, like. Please, please don't leave comments about, you know, oh, you have to go here and do this thing! And it's, while, while that is absolutely true, we are not experts at this game. We're, yeah, we're going to fuck like up. I just said, I've hardly played it! <laughs> and oh, we, I just died. See? Proof! Uh, and, you know, we, we haven't looked up walkthroughs or anything. We're kind of half going in blind. We're going in with one eye covered. Yeah, and the, the control is really kind of sticky, because it's... A really old GameCube controller? <laughs> well, no, not just that. It's it's a freaking Nintendo game ported to the GameCube with an old controller. Like, it's... Yeah, true. It's not exactly very smooth. <laughs> Those rocks always look like it's, melting snails. It's not smooth like butter. Not smooth like butter? Right. Ah! What the hell? There's crap everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear that happens. But on the other hand, there's rupees. Yeah, but I'm also dying. Bye! Does it ever weird you out when you're watching people, like, do Let's Plays of this and they call rupees dollars? Uh, that's happened? Okay, apparently I watch more Let's Plays than you. Well, we knew that. I guess, that's true. I fall asleep to a lot of them. I mean, usually I watch Game Grumps and some of the other ones. I've gotten into a few others that you've gotten me to watch. Yeah. Well, like with the uh, Pro Jared playing the um, the randomizer, and like when twenty rupees would pop out of the crate, he'd be like, "Oh, twenty dollars." Like it's oh, <laughs> oh. Well, it depends on how they say it. Oh, true. Like if they're just like, "Oh yeah, so five bucks, big deal." Like. That doesn't weird me out, but if they say it like they actually think they're called dollars... Well, yeah. I think they did it on, on Game Grumps as yeah, well. Yeah, they do it a bunch on Game Grumps, but they're usually going... Oh yeah, great, 20 bucks. Mm. I I still wish I got 20 bucks when I killed random monsters on the street. I Just wish... throwing it out there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. It kind of would. Oh god! So, yeah, from, from what I hear of this game... There is a secret on every screen. There, there's a bombable wall or a burnable bush or something on literally every screen of the game. That's fabulous. First, I have to actually get somewhere and not die. True. Like, why do I even have a shield? Because it doesn't seem to do diddly squat. It's it's aesthetics. <laughs> on the plus side, we're off to a raring start. We sure are. I keep pressing the A button to do everything. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's so verdant right there. Verdant. 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 Oh, the old man disappears. Yeah, Did he yeah. throw himself into the flames? I don't know. He's <laughs> like, well, my my mission has been served. He took the sword and he was like, fuck this. Bye. Screw this. I'm moving to Florida, bitches. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> yeah, that's because we just got done shoveling a metric fuck ton of snow. And we can confirm that. We measured it. Yeah, and see, the real fun part is we didn't actually shovel the driveway. I paid somebody to snow blow the driveway, because there was just no effing way. Yeah, there there were actually... Oh, fuck you, thingy. <laughs> out, out of areas that, you know, hadn't been no! touched over the last three storms, it was, uh, like, waist high in a couple of places. Yeah. And from streets plowing stuff in, like, we're looking at snow drifts occasionally in places that were about as high as me. And, I mean, I'm not exactly tall, but I'm still over five feet. Yeah, and, um, our house is really weird. It actually sits between two streets. Like, you go at the front door and there's a street, and you go at the back door and there's a driveway and then a street. And no sidewalk. Like, so... They're stuck in walls. What? I don't know. I could still <laughs> kill them. Um, so when the plows go by the street that has the driveway on it... Oh, shit. Um... I just kind of bounced around there. <laughs> yeah, it looked funny. When the plows go by and they don't see a driveway because we didn't clear it right off the bat because we don't have a snow blower or a car, um, they just snow blow all the snow from the street into our driveway. Yeah. So not only did we have all the snow from the storms, we also had all the snow from the street. Yeah. Making it definitely worth the oh 40 bucks. Oh my god, bucks. every time I see a door, I die. Oh, shit. I, it's, 
Given that I first encountered Legend of Zelda with Ocarina of Time, it weirds me out to think the things in the water are Zoras. I know, it's strange. I'm like, I'm used to Zoras well, being these, like, really pretty fish people, except for, uh, the big fat frog dude. That's kind of what they look like in Link to the Past. Is it? Yeah, well, I mean, Link to the Past looks really remarkably similar to this. Just, you know, with double the number of bits. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean different map and stuff, but yeah. it looks very similar. Yeah, I suppose it kind of does in, in a lot of ways. So, really. Yeah, I kind of liked what they did with the Zoras later. I thought it was cool. Yeah. And, it, it, I mean, kind of interesting turning them from just some random monster to actually a race of sentient people with their own culture and shit, and expanding upon the lore. I mean, I like it when games do that. Yeah. No, Whoa. fuck you guys! What were they? These fucking things trying to kill me! Got it. And now there's ah! new ones and- ah! yeah. Oh, I can't turn when I'm doing a single thing. So oh. it's like you do a thing and then you turn. And I'm, that just Piss. totally fucks me right up. Piss and poop. I have not played old games in such a long time that it is totally effing with me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we played a couple of SNES games, like, right at the beginning of doing this channel, but that was also, like, <laughs> mid last year. Okay, so my shield oh. does do stuff if I'm stuff. It just it does stuff. Good. If I'm careful. Good. This has been, like, the training episode. It has. <laughs> and I might take a break in between to train some more. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, makes sense I mean, to I'm me. starting to get more of the hang of it, but... Yeah. I mean, with any new game, there's, there's. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, Get, yeah. <laughs> Fairy. Thanks. Yeah, with with any new game, there's uh, there's always this adjustment period that I find like weirdly a lot of good let's players skip that part. They kind of play some of the game in advance of actually playing it for people, so they can get used to the controls and not go through the adjustment period and. Yeah. Suck up an episode or two doing that. Are you that? saying we're bad? No, but just like some of the exceptional ones I've noticed, they do that. But I also kind of. There is an inherent joy in watching someone pick up a game for the first time and get a little bit lost and encounter this stuff for the very first time and go, whoa, holy shit, what's that? and not be faking it. So I. Ah! Both things have their, their appeal. I kind of like the, you know, going in blind approach. Yeah. It is kind of cool. Plus, then you don't play a game and then feel like, good lord, why am I the only person who's terrible at this? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> at least the beeping isn't hugely obnoxious. That's only because the volume's down. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like, beep, 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 beep. That's a good point. Well, uh, I, I consider this training episode over. I think we've, okay. we've gone to time, so next time we'll pick this up, and we will not suck because we're awesome. Yeah, sure. Yay! Okay, next bye. time. Bye.